cybersecurity is more important than ever. Understanding vulnerabilities is the key to protection. Now on, we are starting a Wi-Fi hacking series. We will dive into ethical hacking techniques, penetration testing, and security measures. From basic concepts to advanced attacks, this series is for education, awareness, and responsible learning. Let's explore the world of wireless security together. Ever wondered how hackers break into Wi-Fi networks? Today we're exploring ethical hacking techniques to understand Wi-Fi security flaws and how to protect your network. Before we begin, a quick disclaimer. Hacking into any network without permission is illegal. This video is purely for educational purposes to help you secure your Wi-Fi from attackers. Now, let's dive in. Wi-Fi networks use encryption protocols like WEP, WPA, and WPA2 to protect data. However, some of these protocols have weaknesses that hackers can exploit. The two most common Wi-Fi hacking techniques are brute force attacks, guessing passwords using automated tools, packet sniffing and handshake capture, intercepting Wi-Fi traffic and decrypting passwords. Now, let's see how hackers actually do this. To test Wi-Fi security, ethical hackers use Kali Linux and Advanced Penetration Testing OS. You'll also need a wireless adapter that supports monitor mode, like the Alpha AWS 036NHA. First, open a terminal in Kali Linux and type Airmon NG. This checks your wireless interface. Airmon NG start well on zero. This enables monitor mode, allowing you to capture Wi Fi signals. Aero dump NG well on zero mon. Now we can see all nearby Wi Fi networks and their details. To hack WPA WPA2 networks, hackers capture the handshake which is the authentication process between a device and the router. Type arrow dump ng dash c dash channel dash dash bssi dash target mac dash w dash capture dash wlan zero mon. This captures the handshake file. Then type airplay ang dash zero ten dash aa router mac dash c client mac Wayalan zero mon. This sends deauthentication packets, forcing a connected device to reconnect, making it easier to capture the handshake. Once we have the handshake file, hackers attempt to crack it using a brute force attack with a word list: aircrack ng dash a two dash b dash open bracket target mac close bracket dash w rock u dot txt capture dot cap. This command tries passwords from the rockyu.txt word list against the captured handshake. If the password is weak and present in the word list, it will be cracked. Now that you know how hackers break into networks, here's how to protect your Wi-Fi. Use strong passwords. Avoid simple words. Mix uppercase, numbers, and symbols. Enable WPA3 encryption. If your router supports it, upgrade from WPA2 to WPA3. Disable WPS, Wi-Fi protected setup. Hackers can exploit WPS to gain access. Monitor connected devices. Regularly check who is connected to your network. And that's how Wi-Fi hacking works. This was an ethical demonstration to help you understand and prevent real-world attacks. If you found this useful, subscribe for more ethical hacking and cybersecurity videos. Stay safe and stay secure.